everyone and welcome to my first episode of Great People TV, previously known as Sunday Learning with me, Ben Ibrahim. What's the difference you might ask? Well, Great People TV is all about interviewing successful people from business, entertainment, sports and technology. Best content really. Today is all about the entertainment business as I speak to Malaysia's sweetheart, talented actress Siti Sally Saliha. And I got this conversation going with Sally by asking her how she got into this very tough but magical industry called entertainment. Let's have a look, shall we? I started doing commercials when I was 14, back in high school. So my first ad was Maxis, and I, I never planned on doing it. <laughs> um, it was mostly uh, my dad's friend kind of say, hey, you know, just send your doctor for a disgusting thing. Who knows, like you might get an advert, da, 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 da. So I just went casting. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Um, and then, yeah, it just started from there. All through high school, it was just uh, commercials. And I thought, yeah, this was just for fun, yada, yada, yada. And then after high school, again, as many of us, we don't know what we want to study in a way or what we want to do. And then acting came about, which was also through a casting. And again, I... It wasn't something planned, you know. I was like, okay, I have time and I got this casting job. I want to do it. And turns out it was my first acting role. Um, <laughs> it was called Five Jinga. And as everyone's first experience, it was bad for me. But, you know, <laughs> I spread my wings and I'm still doing it after 12 years. Certain castings were looking for a pan-Asian look. Is that how it is? in your opinion, in Asia, not just Malaysia, that it's an advantage to come from a family or one parent from the Western world, one parent from the Malaysian world or Asian world? There's an advantage and disadvantage. In terms of work, when I started doing commercials, it was good, yeah, because um, that was rezeki kat situ lah, because they wanted Pan-Asian looks and yeah, I landed quite a bit, so yeah, alhamdulillah. But then when I went into the acting people, you know, they criticize you. Some characters are not suitable for you, but you play it anyway. Like when I first started, I just want to try everything, you know, from gadis kampung, gadis, you know, urban and whatnot. And I did it all. And a lot of, yeah, it was um, a lot of critics. Lah. But like I said, there's pros and cons. You got into the industry quite young. I'm just going through roll back the years i mean in 2000 i think eight it was you were 18 and i won't tell everybody how old i was <laughs> and you we were both starting out i was trying to cut my make my name for myself as a presenter as an mc yeah. you were trying to go actually both ways in terms of acting presenting and you were finding it a bit frustrating because you were you know like because there was no concentration and you was like you said to me oh lama ben you know i wish you know, I wish there was just hosting route or acting route, but it seems to be intertwined. And you seem a little bit frustrated back then. But then, not too long later, alhamdulillah, you took off. Looking back at it, what was the fuel that made, that helped you take off? It was a ride, you know, and I wasn't like uh, blessed with uh, like a shortcut or I had like a famous mom who was in the industry, you know. I started from the, from the bottom and... Um, and I just worked my, <laughs> you, know, you know what? <laughs> I really worked hard to get where I am today and just to prove, just to prove people wrong that, you know, although I wasn't good and I admit to it and in acting, but I, I, I think, you know, I have what it takes. So I just proved people wrong then. And yeah, I, I remember, you know, there are times where I just want to give up. I was frustrated. I was like, this isn't for me. But I had a really good support system and alhamdulillah like jobs kept coming in for me but it wasn't from tv3 and i know a lot from um i hear from directors at the time you have to get into tv3 that's when your career will push off and i was like hmm maternity right and um lucky enough i got the lead role um but it took some time it took some you know um, some encouragement from tv3 because yeah they they were um, they do use a lot of like new looks, right? New faces. But my time, uh, it was like my third year and then I got into TV3. Yeah, so I did Nora Alina and that was just my, my breakthrough. Lah. 
So what kind of harsh learning curve did you have to go through to make yourself more talented and enhance your skills so the TV3s of this world would consistently and continuously call you? I just didn't stop, you know? Like, there were different roles, um, different opportunities to act, and I just took it and, like I said, I kind of proved people wrong, lah. And I, I was studying at the time, and I was acting, so... I just, um, I did better and better. I didn't go for acting classes or all that. I learned on the job. And I also did different things, yeah. Um, I went into theatre right after my first gig in 2008. So 2009, it was like a loophole of like, okay, what am I going to do? Because I just did this one gig. Not, not many jobs are coming in just yet, right? What was the hard part and took some time to learn, which made it quite frustrating when you were trying to become that actor at that time? It took me a while to uh, learn how to really control my emotions. Yes, crying is one. I struggled with that for a while. <laughs> but no, I didn't use any IMO or like cheating techniques. Um, I just took my time. And then, yeah, that was hard. Um, but my first gig, again, that was my first experience, right? I, I, I read dialogue like line per line so i sounded very masale you know like it was so bad <laughs> and then because that was my first gig and then i was just so fresh from high school right so all my my, my friends were like sally what is that like, why you sound so masale but it's good to see your performances from each um projects and just learn or you know what to change what bits you don't like, you know, are you twitching? Are you moving too fast? Are you talking too fast? Talking too, you know, soft. Yeah. It's a lot. It's very technical. Even lighting, you know, but then that one you learn along the way. Lah. Look, Sally, your hard work paid off. And last year, Alhamdulillah, God bless, that you won an award, not just any award, but an international award, the 15th Asia Model Festival Award 2020. Tell us two questions to that, really. Tell, number, question number one, what does this award mean to you? Because I know the media was putting some pressure on you to win some sort of award over the years. That's what I got from the headlines uh, following you over the years. And more importantly, what does, the, does that award, what does that award, sorry, how does that award boost your confidence to achieve your long-term career goals? For me, it's, I, I'm still in disbelief, you know, <laughs> and I, I think I'm very humble about it because all my achievements, whatever it was that I win, it's still hard to believe, you know, I have accomplished this, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, but Asia Model Awards, that was my first international award. And obviously, like any other award, I was really happy, excited to win it. And um, Yes, I feel really good. Like, my ego is, like, right there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, you need ego. You need ego. No, I'm just, I'm really humble about it. And I'm just, like, so happy they've chosen me to represent Malaysia. Yeah. As, as the winner, I'm happy they chose me um, as the winner to represent Malaysia in this um, category of um, actress. So, I'm happy. But at the same time, I don't want to stop right here in only Malaysia, you know, like you see a lot of our actors who spread their wings to Hollywood, you know, even Bron Palari is doing so well in Indonesia and like in Asia, you know, so I wish, and that's my next hope to um, spread my wings to go international, hopefully, you know, don't just dream small, dream big. <laughs> so tell us about that big dream. Tell us about your dream roles, your dream movies moving forward. And we may smile about it, but everybody should aspire and dream. I don't know what my dream role is or dream project is because I'm the type where I do not plan, you know. I like, um, I like challenges to come and I think that's more interesting, you know, like whatever projects. I do plan like a year ever since I can't win again, so I, I take it a bit slow. Like two dramas a year and two movies, but I don't plan what genre and what I want to do. It just comes, you know? And that's more exciting. And so far, I've been blessed with good scripts, good stories, and, you know, winning awards. The year 2020 was a big struggle for a lot of us in terms of COVID. But 
career-wise, um, I was very happy. Look, Sal, thanks very much for your time today. But remember, this is just part one of this episode. Part two continues in our next app of Great People TV. But before we go, Sally and I have come up with a contest. And Sally is the sponsor, I kid you not. So Sally is in a prize-giving mood. So Sal, tell our wonderful audience what they can win and how they can do it. You're in for a treat because... Da, wow! This is my first collaboration, bag collaboration with Cream Couch. And this is the bag that I'm going to give away to you guys. And how you're going to get this bag is by answering... Um, why would you want this bag? <laughs> like, describe in your most creative words why do you deserve to have this bag? So don't forget everyone to click the subscribe button on my YouTube channel, Sally's YouTube channel, and write into the email here, the Great People TV email here, and state in your most creative way why you deserve this bag sponsored by Sally. What a great prize, by the way. <laughs> so if you do all these three things, you win the prize given by Sally. And it's a very great bag. I must stress that. Full prize indeed. Look, we'll catch you on our next episode of Great People TV, where part two of this app continues. So we'll see you very soon. On behalf of Sally and myself, Assalamualaikum and take care. Bye. Bye. Spaghetti and the marshmallows. <laughs>